This is the Chevrolet Volt, and it's a concept car that was designed from the get-go as a plug-in hybrid. Here's what that means. Up front in the Volt, there's a 160 horsepower electric motor. This is what powers the front wheels. It's the only thing that powers the front wheels. This motor gets its electricity from a big lithium ion battery, 16 kilowatt hours worth of lithium ion battery that are good for a range of 40 miles, according to Chevrolet. The idea is that when you start up this car, you run solely on that battery. 40 miles might be enough to get you to and from work. It might only get you halfway to work in case you can uh, plug it in and recharge it. If you're on the road and you run out of 40 mile range, this one liter three cylinder gasoline engine fires up. It's about 75 horsepower. It drives a 53 kilowatt generator that's on the far side of it. And that provides electricity to drive the front wheels and to recharge the battery. It can cruise at 70 miles an hour while it's charging the battery within half an hour. It's actually got enough power to hit 120 miles per hour. And once you're running with the gasoline engine running and switching on and off between gasoline and electric, it has the efficiency of a hybrid. It'll get about 50 miles per gallon. It's got quite a big gas tank in it, so it will actually go 800 miles. So think about it. If you've got a relatively short trip or a short commute, you run solely on electric power, you don't burn a drop of gasoline or create any pollution, yet you still have all the performance and range that you have in a conventional gasoline car. You also save some money because at 10 cents a kilowatt hour, it only costs you about a dollar to charge that battery. A dollar to go 40 miles, that's about one third or one quarter the cost of what you'd pay for gasoline. So it's a great idea, it's technically sound, it can work very well. When it comes time to charge the Volt, there's actually a socket right on the side of the car. You stick a little paddle in here and the other end is a conventional 120 volt plug you just stick into the wall. Now the styling of this car is pretty slick, but keep in mind it's a concept. The Volt might not look exactly like that concept car, which of course is very pretty. It could look like anything, and this concept can scale up or down. It could go into a bigger vehicle, an SUV, a truck, or it could go into a much smaller vehicle. But in any case, it needs that battery cost to come down, and I would say don't expect to see the Volt on the market sooner than five to 10 years from now.